Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Bible reading this week is Matthew chapter 13 to chapter 18. And my summary for this week is this. In the parable of the sower in Matthew chapter 13, we learn that there is only one evidence of hearing the word rightly. That evidence is to bear fruit. The fruit being spoken here is the fruit of the Spirit, which is repentance towards God, faith towards the Lord Jesus Christ, holiness of life and character, prayerfulness, humility, charity, and spiritual mindedness. These are the only satisfactory proofs that the seed of God's word is doing its work in our souls. Without such proofs, our religion is vain. However, high our profession is, it is no better than sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. Christ has said, according to John 15, 16, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, and fruit that will last. There is no part of the whole parable more important than this. We must never be content with a barren orthodoxy and a cold maintenance of correct theological views. We must not be satisfied with clear knowledge, warm feelings, and a decent profession. We must see to it that the gospel we profess to love produces fruit in our hearts and lives. James reminds us in 1 James chapter, 20, chapter 1 verse 22, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. An important question is put to us. How do we hear? We live in a Christian country. We go to a place of worship. Sunday after Sunday and hear sermons. In what spirit do we hear them? What effect can they have upon our characters? Can we point to anything that deserves the name fruit? We as Christians, we should be rest assured that to reach heaven, at last it needs something more than to go to church regularly on Sundays and listening to preachers. As I conclude, we as brothers and sisters, we need to take the word of God and receive it in our hearts and become the mainspring of our contact. And secondly, we must produce practical impressions on our inward man that shall bear, that shall appear in our outward behavior. If it does not do this, it will only add to our condemnation on the day of the judgment. And so, as Christians, may we see and perceive God's word.